Hello everyone, welcome to The Mindless Show. I'm your host, Mr. Mindless. Hello, I am Sahara Desert. Hello, my name is Kazuma. Today we'll be talking about the best films of 2017. I'm sure it was good. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure it was fine. <laughs> is that a film? <laughs> Watched the first one, didn't care for the rest. The Bye Bye Man. <laughs> I don't think I've heard of that one. <laughs> Split. Watched parts of it. Weird. Yeah, I actually really liked it. Haven't seen Unbreakable, but it's somewhere on this shelf. Triple X Free, The Return of best, the Best movie. Best movie out of the whole list. Best movie. For sure. I'm so happy I never saw it. The Return of Zanuck. Oh my god, have you seen it? It's like he returns and it's the bald guy. The big sick. That's alright. I've seen better. Get out. Get out? Well, I get in because it was a good movie. <laughs> I know, I'm here. I'm here all Thursday. <laughs> Thursday nights. Specifically so. Thursday. Love the best film. Actually, no. It was a bad film of last year, but one of the best films of last year. Yeah, it's all right. I said, no, it's, it's really all right. I've, it, mm, mm, Jordan Peele knows what he's doing. Resident Evil, the final chapter. Was it really the final one, though? I feel like they're going to make more. That's just me. I boy. No, don't. Sounds like shit. Uh, it should die. The actor, the main actor, should just quit acting. Eye boy. Fifty Shades Darker. <laughs> um, sure, why not? Go, go for it. If you want to waste your time. I got a friend who loves those films. Like, unironically. Un- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to talk to her about it. Love um, it, unironically. Who would want to say that? Fifty Shades Darker. Ah, oh, I've got Pornhub. I'm good. The Lego Batman movie. Oh, I haven't even watched the. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Go watch it. I heard good things about it. Never ended up watching it. Might watch it one day. Yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. John Wick Chapter 2. Did any dogs die in this one? No. Oh. What, do you, what do you mean? Oh. <laughs> I mean, oh, uh, next one. Next <laughs> one. It's fine. John Wick 2? Fucking yes. A cure for wellness. Interested. Weird, but interested. It's... Everything is good about it except for the story, the writing, Dane DeHaan, the acting. Um, but aside from that, music, fantastic. Um, the cinematography is especially really good. If you just want to just watch a montage of that shit, it's good because it's two and a half hours. But, and production sounds good, so yeah, it's a yay, no, yes, no kind of movie. Logan. Uh, I'm not into superhero films, but that was a good one. And it's not really superhero, really. It's more superhero western, which is probably good for the film. I don't think it would have worked if it wasn't. Where's my fork? Oh, God, did you shake that down, though? That was gibberish for four fucking K. Yes. In other words, yes. Totes. Beauty and the Beast. Did... The live action one. Not the good did one, did Emma Watson do an accent for it? No, she was auto tuned in the singing. That's the only accent she got. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it for Emma Watson's auto tuned accent. It's great. I don't really need to listen to Emma Watson auto tuned again. My parents have watched it twice in the background now. I fucking hate it. Um, this is another Netflix one. I don't feel at home in this world anymore. It's got Elijah Wood. Are you sure you're not talking about your last story? No. Got him. <laughs>
Is that a film? <laughs> That's my answer. Is that a film? You know, I thought I'd put this on as a joke and I realised I haven't actually watched this film yet. I've heard really good things though. King Kong. Skull oh, Island. Skull I <sighs> My Uncle Bobby was an extra in that film. Watch it. Represent. Oh, seriously? <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. It's like one of the... I really like it. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, <laughs> talk about a suggestion. I have a relative in it. Yeah, watch it. It's the best film. <laughs> uh, uh, half-hearted on wanting to see it. It's part of the new Godzilla universe because I'm a Godzilla fan. But probably won't watch it because not very interested. Yeah, it's alright if you like visuals that are really good, um, classic 70s, 80s, like Vietnam music and um, explosions and giant fucking monkeys. Yeah, it's pretty great actually, I love it. Um, sort of online, the movie Autumn Scale. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, need I say more? Jesus. Ooh. Sort of online, the movie Autumn Scale. Kill myself, <laughs> no. No. Uh, that. Anime is no. Raw. Yeah, yeah, it's it's an interesting French film. Um, obviously, I'm the reason that this is on the list, but I really like it. Personal shopper. Spooky. <laughs> Personal shopper. Yet to watch it, um, but I've I've heard really good things. I'm pretty keen to see it at some stage. Oh, here's a good one. Baby Driver. I actually liked that film. It was pretty good. Good soundtrack. Don't want to see that. Why not? Not interested. But it's Edgar Wright. You have to watch Edgar Wright. I'm not interested. I've heard really good things about it, and I also agree that they're really good. It's a good film. The Boss Baby. <laughs> I have that in all capitals on my list. I don't know. The Boss I'm... Baby. Oh, holy shit. I watched... Okay, so I watched the second half of this with a friend over Skype. And they said, first half was actually kind of decent, but then the second half, it just got really shitty. And I watched the second half, so, you know, at your own discretion. The boss baby. No. <laughs> just no. It got nominated for an Oscar. Yes. I haven't really watched it. I mean, you know. Not my kind of film. T2 train spotting. Those are some drugged up British guys, right? I don't really Scottish, know. Scottish, but close. Okay, yeah. It's, 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 yeah, it's a sequel to the drugged up Scottish dudes. About drugged up Scottish dudes. Drugged up Scottish dudes would recommend, yeah. I think the first one's better, even though people have said the second one's better, but I, I like the second one. That's good. Song to song. I haven't seen this one, but I've heard Terence Malick films are quite interesting. And the cast is pretty great, so I'm interested to watch it. Power Rangers. I actually heard that it was kind of the opposite in terms of, like, the action was kind of lackluster, but the actual drama of it was decent. So maybe watch it? Hmm? <sighs> No. You know, I could really go for a Krispy Kreme right about now. Like? I don't really have one anymore because of this show, so I'm going to say watch Alien instead. Um, but I don't think it's a bad film. Chips. I like chips. They're good. Are you getting Garlic confused? aioli. <laughs> it's pretty great. I was about to ask you, are you getting confused with the food? What was chips? It's like about... Cop, it's a cop film that's... It's, it's like um. It's, it's based on a TV show from the 60s. Chips, better with garlic aioli. <laughs> yeah. Well, Ralph the Movie Maker says it's the best film he's ever seen, so I, I'm going with him. Best film of 2017. Uh, Ghost in the Shell. <sighs> Oof. Um, I mean, it looked kind of pretty. Don't. I, I don't want to ruin the anime. Anime's better, but it's not bad. More of a visual film. Fate of the Furious. Oh, um... That's not my kind of film. I'm not interested in that series or franchise at all. 
I've only seen three of these films, and one of them was crap. The other two were just schlock. Colossal. Big disappointment. Ugh. I don't know what it is. I like this. It's a kaiju film with, uh, what's her face, um, Anne Hathaway. Oh! It wasn't a disappointment. Because <laughs> that's actually a pretty cool concept. I, oh, that's a shame. That's the film where it's like she controls a monster yeah. in South Korea. Yeah. Kaiju, yeah. <clears throat> uh, no. Was semi interested and then watched more of the trailer and went, no. Uh, that just looks stupid. Yeah, no, I really like it. It's, it's a nice idea and an interesting adaptation, kind of not adaptation, like use of like kaiju and shit instead of it just being a big monster movie. A silent voice. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> loved it. Yeah, loved it. It was a good film. It's sad. It's very sad. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I've really watched the first one. Oh. I'm sure it's pretty good. I mean, yeah, go watch it. It's fine. <sighs> Overhyped. Um, didn't like it on my first watch. Too hyped from the first, uh, from the first film. Um, upon second and third viewing, yeah, I, I really like it actually. Nice formatics and shit. Pretty mad. Alien Covenant. Uh, underappreciated. Same with Guardians, didn't like it on my first watch because I expected Prometheus 2. Um, no, but I, uh, upon rewatching the film twice, I re really think it's a hidden gem. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. The poster uh, bothered me because they didn't line it up properly. Notice that on the train when I was taking the train. <laughs> Movie's probably shit too. Jeez. Yeah. I don't even know what number of film that is, and I haven't even watched three, I don't think. Pirates 5? I really think it's the worst film I've ever seen in my entire life. Well, it's one of the worst. Well, it's it's, it's up there as one of the oh my! It's a fucking Disney film that's garbage. Baywatch. Mm, I didn't do that. Mm. Uh, if you want to burn, I'll watch that. I wasn't interested. Saw a few scenes while family were watching it. It looks generic. Wonder Woman. I've watched it. It's on Netflix, right? I, I want to say it's on Netflix. Wonder, I don't care enough for Wonder, uh, Wonder Woman. Yes, it is. Okay. I don't know. Audience, you tell me. <laughs> Should I watch it? <laughs> Wonder Woman. I, I haven't seen it. It was alright. Last third is pretty, pretty garbage, but it's an okay film. The Mummy. Can I get um? <laughs> don't know that meme. Uh, this is a dumb meme. Probably a dumb movie because I mean I haven't heard anything of it since. So. Screaming. <laughs> ah, this is um battling with um Pirates of the Caribbean to be the worst film of 2017. Also one of the worst films I've ever seen in my entire life. Go watch the Brendan Fraser one. We all know it's better. Cars free. Watch it. It's pretty decent. It's actually pretty good. You've actually seen it? Um, no. <laughs> 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 like, who cares? <laughs> I've heard from people that are like, oh, it's actually decent. Probably the best cars out of them. Okay. I heard all of them. Like, you could skip yeah. Cars 2. Oh, it also, no, of course. It's fucking Cars 2. Yeah. Everyone can skip yeah, but Cars 3 is actually a decent story. Why didn't the series stop at 1? And why did it have to become a series? Like the first one, because I was a child. Didn't really watch the second one because I was a teenager. And haven't watched the third one because I'm an adult. It comes at night. Does it though? It comes at night. So does Blight... 
No, I have not seen that. Logan's <laughs> like, I make rhyme, but I give up on that. Rough night. Oh, I love Broad City, but they should. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Ah, I still kind of want to watch it. I mean, I totally watch it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but watch Broad City instead. Rough night. Like a kite. Rough night. I had one of those a couple of days ago. I turned out I was just really tired. It had nothing to do with a sexual experience or Scarlett Johansson. Maybe. What? The best Transformers ever? Watch it. <laughs> Can we transform away from that series? I've got a question as well. So it's Transformers 5 billion? Yeah, it's because there are so fucking many of them and they all deserve to die. The first one's okay, but the rest of them are pretty shite. Watch Lindsay Ellis's video essays on them. They're really, really good. No, that's a South Korean film. Oh, it, I've heard really good things about that. I want to see it. Okja. Okja? Yeah, no, um, it, really good Netflix film. Love the, the actors in it, really good. Spider-Man Homecoming. That's in my pile of shame because I haven't watched it and I wanted to. But watch it! It's great! Yeah. <laughs> as much as I hear good things about it, I'm not going to see it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'd say Marvel f films are getting better. I'm, I really enjoyed it. A ghost story. Very spoopy. <laughs> At least someone said it. <laughs> it's, 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 very it's more film. spoopy. Yeah. Do you know anything about it? I have no idea. <laughs> I want to just see it because it's a fucking ghost in a sheet. Very, very indie. Um, I an artsy. I liked it. A little, little bit pretentious. At a very certain scene, which, you'll, which kind of explains what the whole point of the film is. But I don't mind that. I, I, I found it really enjoyable. Worth a watch. Dunkirk. Oh, I, do, I don't really do play in sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should finish watching that. I still need to test if it's a good at-home experience, but outside of that, I really liked it. <laughs> no. Does Kara do an accent for that? No, but Danger Han does. Mm. That's not good for anyone. Oh, horrible no. Valyrian. I heard bad things about that. Really bad things. Why? You, you don't. You know why you don't see Cara Delevingne in films anymore? That's your answer. You know, I have a thing for Cara Delevingne. Um, but I don't like Dane DeHaan. But I do plan to watch this film in 4K for f pure ironic uh, purposes, also because of the current elephant. Um, it's visually nice, but everything else about it is bad. I'd say actually compare it to a um, Saturday morning cartoon where it just goes everywhere. Atomic Blonde. I love the aesthetic of it. I don't know if the actual film's decent. It's decent. Okay. A lot. The trailer sound of the song from the trailer, that's it. Yeah, it's not bad. It's too much of a John Wick wannabe. Like, it's obviously like, female John Wick, it's because we're not sexist, we promise. It's like, yeah, it's got a good cast, it's well, it's pretty well done, but it's nothing special. It's just another action film. The yes. Emoji Movie. <sighs> just, uh, I still haven't forgiven you for making that stupid <laughs> joke. <laughs> Don't watch it. What joke? This is anime. Oh, <laughs> I love that you guys call back to anime. Like, I couldn't stop myself from laughing. I'm like, oh my god, I have to just reveal the joke because like, I can't get through the rest of this. Uh, that's a film? That's a film? Okay. Buy it on 4K today! Detroit. Probably the second best film of last year. Very good. You might think I'm just, oh, one of those people that, oh, racism is so bad, which it is, by the way, but no, it's 
overall, it's a really fucking amazing film. I've heard about it. I've been told to watch it. I haven't got around to it, but it might... I, know, I like John Boyega. I don't mind those kind of commentary-like films. It doesn't really seem up my alley, though, but I've heard good things. Uh, Rigsby Bear. Oh, that's one that I actually do want to watch. I've got on DVD. I can lend it to you. Well. You've got all these on DVD. <laughs> no, no, it's because you can get on Blu-ray, so I have to get on DVD. It's a um, good film, though. Watch it. Mark Hamill's in it. Oh, Brigsby, Brigsby, Brigsby. I have the DVD. I like it. It's fun. It's a good kind of commentary on nostalgia. Um, I'd suggest it, definitely. Great cast. Just great. Really well done. The Dark Tower. <sighs> I was very interested in Idris Elba's new film. Hmm. Yeah, and then you hear about the reviews, and then you hear about people that saw it, and then you just want to cry in a corner because they wasted his talent. Should be John James Bond. No one else has to be James Bond. Idris Elba. Dark Tower. Uh, Annabelle Creation. Oh ham. <laughs> I don't fuck around with creepy ass dolls. Annabelle Creation. Never heard of that. Is that a Disney film? Yes. I completely guessed. I just got it off Annabelle. <laughs> Sounds like a title. You have heard of it actually, right? Annabelle? Yeah. No. Annabelle Creation, an horror film. No. It's a Blumhouse horror film. No. In, it's in part of the Quandary universe. Oh. Okay. Um, no, I actually have to sneak film. <laughs> I'm uh, joking, I'm like, I'm gonna play No, this. I have no idea. Good time. Robert, Robert Pattinson. Really? Yeah. He's so, still doing shit. This is his best film. Go watch it. Robert Pattinson's he's still doing shit. Go. It's your boy. I have to remember his name. Robert Pattinson. Best, his fucking best performance I've ever seen him in. It's really... Just a f- phenomenal film, one of my favorite, one of my favorites of 2017. Ingrid Goes West. I'm gonna say yes because I like Aubrey Plaza a lot. She's great. I'm sure it was it Elizabeth Olsen. She's she's pretty good too. Go watch it. Why doesn't she go east? <laughs> Ingrid Goes North. You know, I saw the prequel, Ingrid Goes West. I really liked that one. I thought it was really funny. Um, a great dark uh, comedic satire. When she went north, it was just too Canadian. The Hitman's Bodyguard. Ugh. It's overhyped because it's got two big actors. Sure, one's a comedian, one can be considered comedian, even though he's not. I just, I don't know. Not interested. I would if I was in the mood for a lame ass comedy action film. Very good film. I would if I was in the mood for a lame ass Oscar Beatty film. I've heard good things, so I, I'm interested to see it at some stage. Lady Bird. Yeah, that's quirky. <laughs> yeah, watch it. I was supposed to watch it, but friend cancelled it. It's fine. Oh, I think. People talked about this film a bit too much, like really went overboard on like saying how good it was. I like it. I do like it. I've seen it only the once um, when it came out, but I liked it. Um, I'd suggest it, but it's just a coming of age story. It's not really anything, but it's definitely worth the watch at least. Battle of the Sexes. Tennis. (laughs) (laughs) Heard of it. Heard. I don't know. Mixed. Um, look, I completely forgot about this film after the advertising stopped because I didn't watch it. But it's got a good cast and I'd probably watch it if it was just on. Three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Peter Dinklage is in it. Go watch it. I'm sure it's a pretty good film. Right? Yeah. Heard good things about it. I haven't seen it. I really, really like this film. I have this screenplay of it. Um, I love all the rest of Martin O'Donoghue's films. I can't remember how you 
what exactly his surname is, but it, I, I really like, I love this one, I really like his other films. It's. That was a weird one. I don't, I don't know if I would have classified it in horror as much as a, like, Psychological, but it was it was weird. Yeah, like psychological thriller. Kind yeah, of like. Which spooky counts too. Some kind of dark comedy. Yeah, yeah, watch it. Why not? Ronald McDonald would be proud. <laughs> watch it. It. Ah, uh, Georgie, poor Georgie. I mean, Scarscott is just really fucking good. It's shocking. Like I, I watched the. I think I watched it first, then I watched the 90s version with Tim Curry. The Tim Curry one is not so great. Tim Curry is fantastic, you know, but um, no, I think it's worth a watch, at least once. If you're a horror fan especially, or a um, Stephen King fan. 9-11 with Charlie Sheen and Whoopi Goldberg. Is this a meme? <laughs> Are you <laughs> kidding me? Is it a serious one? Watch it for the lols, I guess. I don't know. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Whoopi Goldberg and Charlie Sheen. Best film ever, getting stuck in a fucking elevator. With a, somehow this Russian chick has to do with something. I don't know. That, that film's weird. It's stupid. Don't know why Charlie Sheen made it. Or had, uh, he had something to do with the production. I, Tonya? I watched this one. I didn't really like it. Um, the acting outside of the skating was great from the mother, from Sebastian Stan and uh, Margot Robbie. Um, outside of that, though, I just the, the bad digital imprinting of Margot Robbie's face onto someone else doing other skating just completely ruined the film for me. Mother. That was a weird, that was a weird one, wasn't it? I liked it. Disturbed. I don't want to say it. I really like this one. I'm surprised. I, I got it on the ray because I didn't get to see it in the theater. Um, and I had heard a lot of bad things, but I'm like, oh, I'll take a gamble. Um, like a Kill for Wellness took a gamble. Kill for Wellness did not pay off. Mother was a, quite a two hour road trip. It's um, not a road trip movie, of course. Uh, it's very interesting. I guess, yes, pretentious, but I like it. Blade Runner 2049. Watch it. Let's do it. Best film of last year. And there's nothing that's better. By far. Blade Runner 2049? Fucking worst film of all time. I mean, as you can see in this obviously huge ass motherfucking book, it's just, it's so ugly and look, look how orange that is. I mean, ugh. Worst film of 2017. The concept art makes me want to, makes me want to kill myself. Um, Look, look at that, look. It cost me $70. And then I got it on 4K, and I have it on Blu-ray in another room. It's just too much, you know? It's easily the worst film I've ever seen in my entire life. Florida, 10 out of 10. Florida Project? Yeah, I really like this, actually. Um, I was quite surprised by how it turned out. Um, I, everything about it is really good, except the last 30 seconds, but that's pretty much what everyone says, the last 30 seconds ruins the film. Not to an extent that you don't want to, you wish you didn't watch it, but to an extent that it's like, really, that's the ending? Damn. But yeah, if you literally stop it at the moment, you'll, you'll know when it changes. You'll know when it gets bad. But it's really a fantastic film. Roll and sell Block 99. Interested, very gruesome, friend recommended it to me. It's an interesting one. It's slow, it's tense, it's dark, and fuck does it get graphic. Like, that brawl. Um, no, but I... It's... Oh, yeah, don't mention it. Um, yeah, Vince Vaughn's best performance. I like the cast, I like the locations, everything about it I really liked. It, even the, like, the bodies and stuff that they use for the, you know, people who are getting bludgeoned and stuff. It's kind of obviously fake, but it's enjoyably so. Like, you know, the realism is in the performances and everything else, except for how fucking over the top the deaths are, but they're great. It's pretty, it's good. Thor Ragnarok. It's like a buddy cop film, but with superheroes. 
Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I think Taiki Butiti is easily the worst thing to come out of New Zealand. Um, I just... I, I'm sorry, I can't. I can't, I can't be not... I can't be serious about that. Fucking Taiki Butiti is the best. Um, a lovely film. It's a great um, film about a, a boy growing up and realising that he can shoot lightning from his ass. Um, outside of that, yeah, no, it's tremendous. I really like it. Happy death day. Why don't understand that film? What's so good about dying on your birthday and going back in time? It exists. It's just Groundhog Day, but mm, spooky. Geostorm. <sighs> don't waste your time. <laughs> oh, that was. <sighs> nah. Can we? Just finish those films. Don't have B-grade disaster films. They don't look good. Just don't. No, I don't. <laughs> I was meant to watch it drunk with my mate, but then we ended up realising that we had lives. Killing of the Sacred Deer. Oh, I still don't know if it's better than um, The Lobster. I love The Lobster. Um, really good, though. Yorgos Lafamos is a... Uh, I, I, I really like his shit. He's, he's, he's really good. Uh, Coco. Yeah! <laughs> Go watch it! <laughs> it's great! Teaches kids about having a positive relationship with death. Hell yeah. Go watch it. Mmm, Coco Banana. Don't give a fuck, because it's a Disney film. Fuck you. The pain in that. Mm? The pain in that. <laughs> I haven't even seen the film. I don't care about it. I don't care to watch it. It's a fucking Disney film. You know if you're going to watch it or not. Justice League. Didn't avoid it. Avoided it at all costs. Justice League? <sighs> oh, I fucking saw this at cinema. It's totally worth it. Yes, I totally think it's the best film to ever come out of the universe is Asshole. Murder on the Orient Express. Mm, I feel like all-star cast, but flop. Not really interested, but heard good things about it. Call me by your name. I thought this would be a gay kind of movie, but no, it's actually a really nice, you know, um, first love kind of story. It's it's really not as gay as, it, as you'd think. Um, even that's kind of what it was sold on. It's like, look, it's a gay movie. But it's not that kind of a movie. Not to say gay movies are bad, but it's like there's usually a cliche that comes with it. But no, I really like this one. Really good performances, writing, directing, everything. It's really nicely done. Uh, the Disaster Artist. Hmm, go watch it. <laughs> yeah, go watch it. That was so... Oh, that was so good. And nice cameo at the very end. Very, very, very funny film. Very good. Yeah, it's not bad. I enjoyed it when I watched it. I think it was too much of a look at the funny parts of us creating, recreating the room, um, which I think is quite a funny film for how bad it is. Um, I, but I think it's, it's not a bad film. I'd prefer the one that Tim Burton did with Johnny Depp instead, um, the one about Ed, uh, Ed Wood, that's the one, Ed Wood. I think it's a better film if you're looking at just a better story and character performances and stuff, but this one's too much of, it's like fans making Star Wars kind of thing, like, you know too nerdy in that level to be considered legit. But, the, you know, the Tommy Wiseau performance from James Franco is really good. But that fucking camera work is atrocious. Sorry, I just I just remember what I really hate about that film. The camera work. Like, the whole fucking documentary kind of style shaky cam is just really nauseating and bad. James Franco can't direct for shit. Anyway, next film. The Shape of Water. Very, very good film. It won deserved awards. Uh, very weird. If you like fish man and human woman having sex, that's your film. If you like tentacle porn, you'll <laughs> like that film. Fucking yes, Guillermo del Toro knows how to hit out of the fucking park. Not his best, not his best. I still prefer Pan's Labyrinth. Um, and I think this is easily like, um, there's an Aussie film that nobody can really watch unless you watch it online called Love Serenade, which is identical to this movie in a way. Um, pretty much about a woman who f falls in love with a fish, kind of. Um, fish man. Um, but uh, 
Yeah, it's. I'd suggest Love Serenade is really good uh, Aussie film made in 1996. This is what this is like. What 22 years later or some shit. Yeah, the the, the Shape of Water. But no, I really like Shape of Water. Also, I should probably mention I love the Gill Man, my favorite character from all those Universal horror film movies. I hate that they didn't actually call him the Gill Man in this one, so it's like an unofficial Dark Universe film. Uh, Jumanji, welcome to the jungle. Pleasant surprise. Jumanji 2? Since when was there Jumanji 1? It's just Welcome to the Jungle. It was just easier to type that than Jumanji. It's easier to write number 2 than number whatever. It, it's a spiritual sequel. Um, no, I was, I was like, surprised by this one. I enjoyed it. Mostly popcorn flick, but I liked it. It was funny. It was probably worth the watch, yeah. The Greatest Showman. Yay! <laughs> Showman. For legal reasons, I cannot say that I hate this movie or that I love it. I will just say, go watch The Greatest Show on Earth. It's actually it's a really good one with Jim, Car uh, Jim Carrey, Jimmy Stewart. Um, won a bunch of Oscars. It's actually really good. I can't say anything about The Greatest Showman, though, for legal reasons. Also because my friend would kill me. The Last Jedi. Disappointing. The Last Jedi? Um, God, yeah, I'm, as torn, I'm torn like everyone else, but I think it's, it, it seems like it's becoming more, like the idea that it's centralising in is more like a diamond in the rough kind of thing, like, if you look past all the kind of shit, you'll notice that it's There's really, uh, it depends on who you're talking to, of course, about that, but no, there's, it has some really nice ideas and stuff, and I like it. I think it's better than Force Awakens, to be honest, because Force Awakens is too much of a rehash of fucking A New Hope, but, um... I think Last Jedi is good, just not phenomenal, but interesting. And Phantom Thread. That one sounds made up. Uh, Phantom Thread. I watched this one just because I could, and I really liked it actually. It's um, an exceptional film. I, Paul Thomas Anderson, really good director, and uh, I don't know if he wrote it. Um, and um, sad to see that it's a. Uh, Holy shit, I forgot his name. He's in There Will Be Blood. What the hell's his name? I can picture his face. What's what's his name? To, the know. actor. You don't know the actor from... Ah, uh, fuck. The actor, dude, that everyone knows, and I, I've blanked on the name. Um, yeah, no, really sad to see it's his last performance, apparently. Um, but no, I really, really liked it. It was different to what I was expecting. Actually, I didn't even know what the hell to expect, but I really liked it. And I think that's about it from all of us here. Uh, so, thank you for watching another episode of The Mindless Show. I've been your host, Mr. Mindless. This was Kazuma. I'm Sahara Desert, and thank you for watching The Mindless Show. 2017 best films of the year, yay! <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See you next time. Like share, subscribe, the others didn't say this part, so let's like, share, subscribe for more, all that kind of stuff, playlist in the description, you know, there's a whole bunch of videos, um, yeah, um, see you next time.